Hello guys, my name is Ivan Shopov and tonight I'm going to show you my Whoop expansion for Ultra Whoop from Twisted Tools. You can find it on their website twistedtools.com. It's an ensemble for a reactor that you can then load with different uh, Whoops from different artists. My Whoop expansion is just down there. You can buy it for $19 and when you download it you get my samples which are 128 uh, drum whoops, bass lines and percussions, and different sound design tools. I can preview them for you quickly and then load them into Ultra Whoop so you can see how to use them and quickly rearrange and edit. <laughs> Okay, so let's get started. Uh, you need reactor and then ultra whoop. And when you go to ultra whoop, you have to click on the uh, sample mapping and the edit. So now we have to drag and drop the map file from the folder with my whoops and drop it on top of uh, the sample. Sometimes it takes a bit of a second to realize where it is. There we go. Now I have the, uh, the sample map loaded into a reactor. And to get uh, everything working, I also need to load the snapshot bank, which is uh, already in the downloaded folder. And now I'm going to see all the snapshots prepared from Twisted Tools. Uh, for my sample library. Let's see. That's how they sound. Let's put them in a wood. Let's go into editing some of them and show you quickly how we can manipulate the samples here. Ultra Warp is a multi-gate sampler and it plays all the eight, all, uh, eight uh, tracks with samples at the same time. And from here you can select which part of which sample to be played. From this warp section you select uh, which sample from the sample map to be loaded on which track of the sampler. So uh, you have the slide which you can select from 1 to 127 and that's the range which uh, works as a starting and ending point for the for the whoop selection. And let's see how it works when I manipulate this section here of the ultra whoop expansion. <laughs> Okay, so it's very easy to, to learn it, it's very intuitive. All you need to do is have some fun and enjoy some samples. Let's see if I resample that quick and select some of the sounds from there. Okay, that's my first loop that I turned into audio. Now I can easily select which part of the uh, of the loop I want and then drag it on a new channel and eventually add some reverb to only this part. Okay, then I can continue searching for some more interesting sounds or just try to make them quickly from here. sample that quickly as well. Let's 
let's see which part of this can be used. For example, I would like to use this kick from here and then this little break at the end, mute the rest and see what's gonna happen. I work with Ableton this way because now I can uh, reverse each slice of audio, pitch it differently, or stretch it and do some more crazy audio manipulations. Okay, this is also possible inside Reactor with some other devices, also this one, but to be more flexible and quick, I always resample them into Ableton and use the audio files. So that's how quick you can get some interesting ideas. I hope uh, you enjoy my whoops and you can go to uh, Twisted Tools website and also check my demos I did for the whoop expansion. There is really nice whoop expansions from other artists that I recommend you to check out and I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial and I'll see you next time.